Oh no. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Oh gosh. What is she gonna say? She's a wild card. Hey guys, Vicuña here, and we are watching Chernobyl episode 5, the last episode. So Chernobyl is a series that has grown really near and dear to my heart, other than me being extremely interested in the disaster itself, and my educational background really made me know it inside and out. I finally get to see the emotional toll that it took on people, as well as the political decisions that led to that happened afterwards, after the whole disaster. So I find that the way this series has been done to be very, very interesting. But again, you guys definitely know that I hate finishing shows, especially ones that I like. So I know I'm gonna be emotional. I know it's gonna be depressing. So I got my trusty box of tissues and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm really bummed about finishing it, but if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel so, so, so incredibly much and I would really appreciate it. And if you, you know, you want to, you happen to want to watch my full length reactions as well as my critiques and reviews and all of my commentary, the link to my Patreon will be down below in the description. So be sure to check that out as well. So without further ado, let's watch the last episode of Chernobyl, episode five. I have a full box ready. Oh, it's already somber. Mm. Those kids aren't even playing basketball or anything. They're just looking. Oh yes, this was uh, Pripyat before. Showing how happy the whole town city was. Did they not have grocery stores? It's only been buildings. That man is taking a bath in the pool. No one's stopping him. I thought that was Jake Gyllenhaal for a second. I was like, wow, how did they manage to give Jake Gyllenhaal have a cameo? She thought he was gonna make a wonderful dad and he probably would've. His essence is evil. Probably not really a bad dude, just in denial. Oh, yep. I hear they might promote Brukhanov. Yes, I think promotion's very likely. Who knows, maybe Moscow. I would like to be considered. He wants that promotion. Comrade Dyatlov's been working per my instructions, and Reactor 4 output's been reduced to 1600 megawatts. Are you going to ask me if there's a problem, Nikolai? You can't read a fucking face. I mean, it's better to verbally communicate. It's safe. We'll maintain it at 1600. I'll go home, get some sleep, come back tonight. We'll proceed then. I'll personally supervise the test. And then it will fail. Call me when it's done. Oh, you'll get a call, all right. You will definitely get a call. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You can't just say hi or... What if he wasn't gonna stop and stare at him back? What if... Was he gonna stop, start cutting him off? It says, at last a Soviet scientist who tells the truth. Oh no. The hero of the Soviet Union. Our highest honor. It, it was a bent piece, it's, the piece of paper is bent. Promotion to director of the Kachatov Institute lying on behalf of them the reactors would be made safe it's been months no changes have been made no changes even discussed first the trial they're not doing anything we will have our hero we will have our truth it's a lie though it's annoying they're being so difficult this could this would spare millions of lives possibly the world but they're like they only care about their image. Now it's all coming together. What he did with the tapes, hiding them in a wall. Then committing suicide. He didn't want to be on trial, right? The stress is making his hair fall out. Uh, I'm sorry, let's get a garbage can. That's so bad for your sink. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> it's his cat. It's hungry. I know how the world works, despite what Shabina says. Why are you here? Because I'm brutally stubborn, which you were hoping for. <laughs> I like her a lot. The state will never willingly fix the reactors because acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. I spoke to dozens of people. These are the ones who are still alive. These are the ones who are dead. I went willingly to an open reactor, so I've already given my life. Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. Oh no. I don't like any of this. He's given- He already knows his health is gonna be in decline soon. And now, openly defying the state? He has a death sentence regardless. This session of court is now open. Comrade Judge Milan Kadnikov presiding. Is this supposed to be a replica? Oh no. It's like tiramisu on the left. Making me hungry. In order to sign this certificate, all safety tests had to have been successfully completed, uh -oh. and yet one remained. The backup generators took approximately one minute to reach the speed required to power the pumps and prevent a meltdown. I don't know why that means scared. To test this theory, the reactor is placed in a reduced power mode, 700 megawatts, to simulate a blackout condition. He knows his stuff. I'm impressed. And the first time they tried, they failed. The second time they tried, they failed. The third time they tried, they failed. The fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986. Strong public speaker. Oh no. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Oh gosh. What is she going to say? She's a wild card. At midnight, there is a shift change. Those are the new men, the inexperienced ones. They just walk around in their undies? <laughs> Topped it off. He's just a little boy. He's got more hair on his face than on his ball. I, how would you know? You looking? Is he already here? He came in early. Something about a test. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Why is he doing kissy sounds at him? It's funny. I have to do something I've never done before with the outlaw of looking over my shoulder. Oh, don't worry. We'll do it together. Just looking at the instructions now. They don't even know. I have the manual for the rundown test. Well, what should I... Right. Thank you. He says to follow the cross-down instructions. I feel like that's not right. I feel like that's not right. Maybe ask him? 1600, good. Uh, is it too much to ask that you all know what you're doing? Well, yes. Yes. It is too much to ask. I haven't reviewed. We only just found out we're... There, review it. Thingy. What a mm, jerk. Stupid as you are, can manage that. Well, let's go. Big jerk. Big fat jerk. This is not good. Shut the fuck up and do your job. Oh my goodness. The night shift had not been trained to perform the experiment. They hadn't even been warned it was happening. Leonid Toktonov, the operator responsible for controlling and stabilizing the reactor that night, was all of 25 years old. And his total experience on the job? One day. Four months. That's insane. Comrade Legasov. Oh no, it's time for him to, so to decide. Oh, I'm so nervous for him. Food truck? Not food truck. Oh no, it's a board. That would be like a food cart or something. In an RBMK reactor of the type used at Chernobyl, there's something called a positive void coefficient. What does that mean? It would appear we, we have a vicious cycle on our hands. And we would, were it not for this. <gasps> Why are people murmuring? When nuclear fuel gets hotter... He looks so nervous. At 28 minutes past... You can't understand how a stalled nuclear reactor could lead to an explosion. I don't blame you. The men who did didn't understand it either. Oh, no. The 
they didn't even know that it was happening. Make it down. So how could they put two and two Good. together? Like that. They just came in onto their shift. We're following protocol Shut for reduction up. rate. You're procrastinating. Shut up, you. I'm gonna kill this man. Except no, I'm not. I'm just mad. Excuse me. Kirsten Baum, come get me when these old women are ready. Yes, comrade Diatlo. He should not be in such a position of power being that impatient. This is dangerous work here. Whoa, 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 slow. Oh, it's going. <gasps> oh, no. I'm not even touching it. Get, get Diatlov. That is a big problem. Oh my gosh. I'm such an angry person. LAC disabled, global control activated. <gasps> I, I, I did what you said, I switched. Look at it! What are you doing? We have to shut all the way down. No. Well, we could be in a xenon pit. They knew. If we fall from 80%. No, no, we fell increase. from 50% of from power. 50 the rules don't say 50. There is no rule. Yes, there is. Raise the power. No. Good. All he cares about is getting a promotion or something. That's how long I've done this job. 25 years. Is that longer than you, Akimov? Yes. Is it you with your mother's tip early out your mouth? He's such a jerk. Such a jerk. He's threatening me. I would like you to record your command. <gasps> he should record his command. I wasn't in the room when they raised the power. If you weren't in the room, then where were you? <laughs> Smoking the toilet. Cigarette. Oh, the toilet. Oh! The toilet. What a cheap excuse. It was in the control room that night. They all told the same story. You're lying. I knew what Dietlar thought it was wrong. But if I didn't do what he said, I would be fired. <coughs> is, oh no. Probably gonna be like blood or something in his coughs. I wonder where this was filmed. Was it in Europe? It looks, it looks like it is. But I just want to be sure. Do you know anything about this town, Chernobyl? It was mostly Jews and Poles. The Jews were killed in pogroms, and Stalin forced the Poles out. And then the Nazis came and killed whoever was left. After the war, people came to labor anyway. They knew the ground under the feet was soaked in blood, but they didn't care. <laughs> they call it a long illness. It doesn't seem very long to me. I like Sherbina. I like Boris. I'm an inconsequential man, Valera. I hoped that one day I would matter, but I didn't. I just stood next to people who did. He can't think of himself that way. Any one of them could have done what I did. But you, everything we asked for, everything we needed. He did it with such passion, too. Who else could have done these things? He just picks it up and eats it. I have nothing else to live for. I'm just trying to make a light of the situation. It's I just want to say, performances are astounding. The casting, phenomenal. I'm really happy with the casting and acting. They're doing so wonderfully. But even still, the xenon poisoning is so strong, the best they can do is raise the power to 200 megawatts. It's one in the morning, the test is minutes away. They're so nervous. But, but the test requires 700. Stelyachuk, let's get ready, switch on pump four. No, wait a second. He's the worst. I said it's enough. I know what I'm doing. Still your choice. No, he doesn't. Oh my gosh, we've established this. Well, in court. After the thing. Turn that fucking thing off. Yeah, 15 minutes. Such a bully. 15 minutes. They may as well have had 15 days. None of them have been told about the test. And they're in the reactor room. Dr. North sees a report from the reactor's Scala computer system. Based on the absence of sufficient control rods, the computer is recommending that the reactor be shut down. Well, of course it's saying that. It doesn't know we're running a test. 
Oh my god. All right, comrades. Another few minutes, it'll all be over. His excuses. Remaining Xenon decays away. The power is rising. There's nothing left to stop it. What did you do? Literally listen to him. In every control room of every nuclear reactor in the world, there is a button with one single purpose. The scram will instantly shut down the reaction. In Soviet reactors, that button is called AZ-5. Which they hit. But. No. He's gonna spill it. What are you waiting for, Legasov? Tell your lies. He's so annoying. You're a liar. We've heard enough for today. They're just like, oh God. Court is now adjourned. Uh, we will resume tomorrow. Let finish. I'm getting so uncomfortable right now. The <sighs> Atlov broke every rule we have. What a great leader. AZ-5, a simple button to shut it all down, but in the circumstances he created, there wasn't. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. Mm. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. For the same reason, our reactors do not have containment buildings around them. Don't compare. <gasps> He's just insulting now. That builds water-cooled, graphite-moderated reactors. It's cheaper. <gasps> oh, he said it. Oh, he said it. Karavoschenko looks down on the enormous steel lid of the reactor. <gasps> no. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3,200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator. Because it was kept from them. Comrade Legasov, you're contradicting your own testimony in Vienna. The testimony in Vienna was a lie. Oh my gosh. Happened, then I must warn you, you are treading on dangerous ground. They are, though. We're on dangerous ground right now because of our secrets and our lies. They're practically what define us. Oof, don't they're saying that again, Soviet Union, oh my gosh. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Oh gosh. That is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. It's the truth finally has come out. I know this is for dramatic effect, but this is, he's going a little too hard. I'm surprised they haven't shot him on the spot. Torture room? That's a scary McMouse. Mm. You're not brave. What? You're not heroic. Yes, he is. You're just he a dying is. man who forgot himself. I know who I am. He's telling the truth against a nation filled with lies. In a just Please. world, I'd be shot for my lies, but not for this, not for the truth. When the bullet hits yeah, your yes. skull, what will it matter? Why? Scary sentence for someone to yell at you. The whole world is you must expect it. It would be embarrassing to kill you now. And for what? You will live. With no duties, no authority, no friends. You can't say he'd get, he's not going to have friends. Your legacy is now their legacy. You will live long enough to see that. Disgusting. Disgusting how they're treating him. He's done nothing to try to help people. You will remain so immaterial to the world around you that when you finally do die, it will be exceedingly hard to know that you ever lived at all. Horrible. That's absolutely if I refuse, horrible. Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? Sounds like how they're hand handling the they whole disaster. Ooh. Love that. That man has some cojones on him. I'll tell you that much. Oh, wow. This really happened to him? To be a scientist is to be naive. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few 
actually want us to find it, but it is always there, whether we see it or not, whether we choose to or not. The truth doesn't care about our needs or wants. It doesn't care about our governments, our ideologies, our religions. It will lie in wait for all time, and this, at last, is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? Because, he, and he had to die. He had to, to lose his own life for that. He lost his in, whole life just to help others, to save lives. And to just, ex, to, to help lives and to, oh my God. because the Soviet Union didn't want to look bad. There were several. Oh. 1990? Oh, they got an actor to look just like him. And him too, what the heck? Casting on point. Real. Oh no, yeah. Really? So t so scary. She had a child. My heart. I remember that scene. I could have sworn one of them still survived. Yeah. Okay, two. That's why they didn't take much. R really? That was wonderfully done. Wow, that was so good. So I just finished watching Chernobyl episode five, the final episode, and what an ending. I had no idea that they would do that to Legoslov. Like, I, I didn't know that they would treat him in such a manner that would make him basically non-existent. They didn't want to kill him because he was a figure. It would be too shady to kill him and he would possibly be viewed as a martyr, you know? So the best option would be to let him live, but to suffer, which is horrible. For someone, all he wanted to do was help people, save lives, and expose the truth, which is what the Soviet Union was super against because they felt, because they were at fault. They had to be perfect, whether it cost lives, millions and mil millions of lives, and just, it's horrible. I never thought about the people who really risked their lives and basically died trying to protect others, the politics, all the complexities. I never truly, truly saw that, but I feel like this show, this Chernobyl made me realize that. Um, and it's, it's hard to even fathom what that this happened because it was so covered up and now you're realizing that so much of it was such a secret that's why no one really dove into it an everyday person wouldn't truly know the extent as to how horrible the chernobyl accident was and i i hope that there's gonna be more mini series like this that really kind of uncover and delve into historical events like this because this is phenomenal so all I have to say is that I loved this show so much and I'm so glad that I watched it and I wish that I could erase my memory and watch it all over again. That's how good it was and that's how much I enjoyed it. So I adored it and I hope you guys enjoyed this journey, like joining me on this journey. Thank you so much for watching with me and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!